Hello, my name is Willy Kalikezi. I'm a visual artist from Rwanda. I decided to be an artist because it was my only way to communicate with the world and also to, the way to communicate with my inner self because there have been times I have been trying to struggle with myself, trying to find myself and who I could be and who I was actually. So then there was no way to express this. So I started to communicate with the artwork and use it as a way to talk to the world and also to myself too. I decided to use painting, I don't know, because uh, when I started to, before at the young age, I was doing uh, comic books and I was doing uh, a lot of playing with tools at, at my home. So when I was visiting a gallery in my neighborhood, which was Uburanga, and I got to find artists painting with paint and I didn't understand how, because I was used to see people painting the house with fans, I didn't know that the people can even tell stories with fans, so that attracted me and I wanted to be the same like these guys who inspired me to become one of them. So I went to high school, I studied high school construction, but I never went to university because I was thinking traveling can be a good university for me and the way to learn more and to get more stories because I, I, as I was, I was going deeply in my work, I, I started to see myself as a storyteller. So I was trying to go everywhere that I can get many stories as much as I can to be able to talk about what I see. My story is the story I put in my work, they are the story I see every day and every time I try to bring a question through my work also to question the world because uh, I don't see everything positive in, in the world we are living in and I want to be kind of public voice and so yeah I try to get inspired by the, the life we live in every day and the people around me bring a conversation between the society or the community. Art in community of, of Rwanda is, is, I think is small because yeah, our countries have a small history because we are the new generation, we are talking about, we are trying to uh, show Rwanda, the, the new Rwanda because Rwanda is known as a country has been in genocide. Many people know Rwanda about the genocide, but uh, at the moment, that's 27 years ago. So at the moment, the new generation is trying to talk that Rwanda is more than uh, that. So we are trying to show many stories and many people doesn't understand what you're doing and the community, especially like the people around us. So we are trying to educate them through inviting them in our studio, in our home, and we make conversation and they get to understand because before they used to say, this is not for us, it's for, for you guys, so I think with the time it's gonna grow, but yeah, it's slowly, slowly. So what makes Rwanda a nice place to do art is uh, the culture. The culture is really diverse, and also uh, the landscape of the country itself. The people they have different um, understanding, which also make it a nice things to to a nice place to where to do art and also the way the way the people see what you are doing because that's why I think is something you should do in Rwanda because uh, it's like a way to provoke them because for me like when I, um, I want people doesn't understand what I do is for me is a win because I want them to come to know to get to know so I try to to provoke them to see if they're interested in what I do or maybe so I think Rwanda is also a country to nice place to do art. Uh, 
As an artist, my ambition is to build a residence place because I have been once in a residence, at residence, and then uh, I got to learn a lot. And in my country, I have this, so uh, I want to bring this and also want them to see my work in the museum because I think uh, as an artist, if you had in any museum having your work is a good a good thing and also that shows that your work has been seen so yeah my ambition is just to develop also to, to give what I have to the next generation because uh, I believe that we have different stories to tell and we have different ways to, to, to give it so I would like to be one of the pillar who give uh, give this knowledge to the young generation Yeah.